Yeah, where, what is Safe Haven? Oh, safe nearby haven town or city. Just okay. teleports you to the nearest uh, town. Yeah, I have 51 of those. Good. <laughs> Teleport scrolls. I mean, they can help you if you're in a pinch. Right. Can they? <laughs> yeah. I mean, how long does it take to work? About the same you know? as a normal teleportal, which I don't know how long that takes, but... <laughs> but, I mean, if, if an enemy hits you, is it going to interrupt it? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, then. I guess if you want to get some vested XP before you log off real quickly, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I, I guess this is what I do. I just normally I get vested XP. I don't need these rings. I have better rings. Are they equipped on you already, or...? Yes. Which is why I will throw away these rings. Because I can't dismantle them, I guess. Who needs them? <laughs> uh, these I will wear, thank you. Uh, these I will not. So it's settled. <laughs> I Jake. love the sort button. Okay, this Love might it. actually be pretty sick. If I'm lucky, I might yeah. be able to get a thousand fashion coupons. Holy crap, why? Because <laughs> um, for this quest, there are items called Marta's Steel and Marta's Gold. Uh -huh. If you get three Marta's Steel, you can trade them in for a pack of 500 fashion coupons. And I have uh, five right now. Hmm. And with Marta's gold, you can get a free mount. Oh yeah, we need to enchant my fairy ring. Oh yeah, that's right. So, um, press I, and then, does it say that you can enchant it? Well, the button is grayed out, but when I go to P, and then hit the arrow thing, then it brings me to enchant. Okay. So, what does it say you need? What? It doesn't... What do you mean? Like, do you need a certain amount of feedstock or, like, tier alkahes? It'll say when you enchant that you need. Yeah, Oops. yeah. I have... 213... Uh, tier 3 alkahes and 221 feedstock. Okay, so just do auto-enchant until you run out. And then... I'll look around right. and see if I can find more for you. Continue. This auto enchant. I mean, you could keep pressing enchant if you wanted. But... <laughs> why would I do that when I can do hands free fun? <laughs> That's what I used to do because I thought auto enchant had like something bad, like some consequence uh, or something. <laughs> now I can do so many more things with my hands now. Oh, enchanting results. Thank you. Thank you. Nine successes, zero failures. Nice. Great. So now it's changing to max already. And you can probably see that your weapon's glowing now. When you equip it. Was it was already glowing. Oh. Oh, you mean on my back. I see. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> uh, when you masterwork, what's really cool is that it actually changes the color of the enchantment. So it changes mm -hmm. from, like, blue to purple and then finally to red. Nice. Sick. As the kids would say, you know. Oh, those kids. Alright, so Why I'm gonna get on my... XP boost? Why would an XP boost for one day have a cooldown? What's the point of that? What do you mean? If, if the XP boost runs out... Then it's gone, yeah. right? So what? What does the cooldown do? I think it's in case you want to add another to extend the time. Okay. Because <laughs> you can do that. Big deal. I have to wait three seconds. <laughs> I, <laughs> do you have okay. another one? No, but I have. I have a gold boost. Yeah. Oh, whoa! This. Oh God! This loading I have, screen. I have a seven-day gold boost. With an average brokerage sale of 70 gold, 0 silver, and 1 copper. 
70 gold on the broker? Yep. Jeez. And one copper. One copper. One copper. Don't forget. Don't forget about the copper. <laughs> that's, that's important. <laughs> then I would have five copper instead of four. Wait. That's weird. Hmm. Wait, so you can sell it? Yeah. But but it's a gold boost. People sell them. So, so which one would be more beneficial? <laughs> Using the gold boost <laughs> or selling it for gold? Using the gold... Well, honestly, either one, really. Okay. Well, then. <laughs> I mean, if you play all day for seven days, I assume that would... You know, get you a lot of gold, but... Well, or if you're high level. Because right. after, like, level... Once you get to, like, level 60, 65, you get, like, 50 gold per quest, so... Hmm. It's the reason I was rich on Sakura, but now I'm down to, like... Dude, you've got some sick abs. I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> also hello sick there, things. sir. Say hello to my nightmare! Well, I'm taller. I didn't even notice the source is, like, bigger. That's cool. Bow down. To me. You are in the ground. <laughs> oh, now you're not. Now you have... a metal dragon thing. It's actually made of ice, but... Well, actually, I don't know what it is. <laughs> ice dragon that's on fire. That makes sense. Yep. Anyway. I mean, they do have a fire version of this dragon. Nope. Alright, so, so we head to uh, Celestial Hills and kill some enemies there. Because there's actually an event, an event there. Sure. Alright, let's go. Then maybe we can, if we see anyone hey, else. This is where the old trio hideout was. Yeah. And it was impossible to get to. <laughs> We decided our new hide hideout's gonna be at High Watch, which is the fourth major city in the game. Wait, so the Trio Guild is still a thing? It is. Um, a lot of people left, but thanks to the help of uh, one of our. Remember, I told you about Takashi. Uh, Should he... I kick you? What? Should I kick Tenchi? Oh yeah, kick the Tenchi. Party? Okay. Well, yeah, with uh, Takashi's help, we're actually getting a lot more mem a few more members now, so. Uh, we're s somehow actually able to keep it still going. Hey, Jude, slow down for a hot second. You do realize we're the same speed, right? <laughs> okay, please continue. Because, <laughs> I mean, like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm I was right wondering what you tail. were doing. But... <laughs> okay, that, that answers my question. Quite the second. Anyway. So many more hand things I can do. Like, not check the game that's on sale on my wish list. Oh crap, I forgot to get. Did I buy it? I was gonna get, uh. Viscera Cleanup Detail Santa's Rampage when it was on sale, because it was like a dollar. But I forgot. <laughs> I think I forgot. Unless I did, and I don't remember. Yeah, you know what? You know what Santa's rampage is, right? Uh, dude, I saw some on YouTube play that before. It looks like fun. Yeah. I mean, it's you know. Someone said it was based off a of Krumpus, actually. It's a fist for a cleanup detail. So you know, loads of fun, loads of action-packed cleaning fun. Uh, we need to kill enemies called Red Organs. Actually. I need to kill Red Fang fighters too. Oh, really? Oh, you have a quest for him? Yeah, well, I have a quest for Red Fang invaders, which includes both, I guess? I don't know. Hmm. 
That seems to be what's happening. I feel like I'm getting the same quest for both of them. Claim reward. Receive reward. Thank you for reward. That was nice of you. Okay. Oh, is it a daily quest? Yes. I'm I'm okay. That's good. Hmm. Oh, maybe we could try to find a bam too. There actually are. Uh, this is the first area where there's like legit, actually, somewhat difficult bams. Hmm. change my outfit oh yeah <laughs> this one is kind of insane when did I get to level 23 in the dungeon really yeah I was level 20 when we started recording today <laughs> level quick man you, you level quick in, quick in dungeons man I'm telling you yeah 